The first weekend of Super Formula in the feeder series Super Formula Lights is just finished. And in that Super Formula Lights field, there's one driver name that catches my eye, Giuliano Alesi. He had a good first weekend finishing on the podium twice and is fourth in the championship. He has recently left Formula 2 and the Ferrari Driver Academy. But what can he reach in Japan? Giuliano Alesi was born on the 20th September 1999 in Avignon, France. He is the son of French former F1 driver Jean Alesi and Japanese former actress Kumiko Goto. He started karting only in 2013. He only did karting for two years, driving in the KF3 and KF Junior classes without any great results. In 2015, he made a single seater debut in, in the French F4 Championship, surprised by taking pole and win at the first race of the season. In the end, he finished fourth in the standings with three wins. In the junior standings, he finished second only behind future Super Formula driver Sacha Frenestra. At the end of the year, he also competed in a Dubai round of the 2015-16 MRF Challenge, scoring three points. At the beginning of 2016, he joined the Ferrari Driver Academy. In that year, he stepped up to GP3 with Trident. He finished the season in 22nd. His only point came at spa francorchamps In 2017, he remained in GP3 with Trident. After a point at his first weekend, he grabbed his first podium at the second weekend on the Red Bull Ring. He then went on to win the reverse grid race at the next three events. This run enabled him to finish 5th in the championship. For 2018, he stayed in the same series with the same team. He won the second race of the season at Barcelona. At Polarica, he got his first race 1 podium. In the end, he finished 7th in the standings. In 2019, he finally stepped up to Formula 2. He stayed with the team Trident for a 4th year. And pulled the car at the fifth round, he scored his first points. Giuliano scored points in the five of the last six races. He got his best finish in the final race of the year. He finished fifth after starting the sprint race from pole position due to the reverse grid. In 2020, his father Jean Alesi had to sell Ferrari F40 to found his son's F2 seat. This car is so rare that you can get a million euros for it, even if you aren't a former F1 driver. Giuliano then competed with the HWA race sub team. He finished P6 in the opening race of the season, but he couldn't make anything of the good starting position for the sprint race due to an engine failure on lap 2. For the next 8 rounds, he didn't score any points. Before round 10 at Sochi, he announced that he would switch to the more successful MP Motorsport team. But while his teammate Felipe Drugovic scored two more podiums in the last six races, he only scored points once. He finished P6 in the very last race of the season. After his father had already leaked that Giuliano would leave the Ferrari Driver Academy, he still participated in a test with the 2018 Ferrari SF71H in early 2021, together with the Ferrari F1 drivers and his fellow FDA members. Shortly after the test, it was officially announced that he would leave the Ferrari Driver Academy. He then headed to Japan where he tested a Lexus GT3 car and the Super Formula car of the Toms team. This year he will compete in Super Formula Lights for Toms. Despite having never driven the Lara 320, I think he can be a title contender. Although over the last two years in Japanese single seater series, there have often been dominant champions. I think he can take the fight at Tepe Natori and then Sato who looked fastest in the first round over the course of the season. He's got three years of GP3 and two years of Formula 2 experience. I think if he does well, he can score a Super Formula Drive for 2022. It should be hard to make the impression internationally, although a Euro Formula and SF Lights, who use the same car, are in talks to have a race together at the Macau GP. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and comment down below what you think. What can Giuliano Alesi reach in Japan? I hope to see you again for the next video. Bye.